Um, it's probably the same as like Brianna Jones, a game like that. You have to make every shot for her tough, and we know that she's left-handed, so we really have to close off her power moves, go into her left hand, and make her try to use her right hand and move her out away from the block more. You had 21 points and, and 12 rebounds in the game up there. Is, is there something Michigan was doing that day that, that enabled you to do that? I just think I was more aggressive on the offensive rebound, and I think that's what we showed in the game. That's what kept us in the game, so I have to continue to do that and come out and play as the best I can tomorrow. And on the defensive side, I mean, you guys played well against Northwestern, but now going go up against Michigan, you got Dome, you got uh, Flaherty on the outside. What's kind of the game plan for that? The game plan would be, I mean, we have to know where Flaherty's at. We have to be, I mean, she has range to when it, wherever on the court, and she has a quick release, so we have to be there on the catch. And then with Thome, we have to be able to dig and give help, and then we have to block them out and not give them those second or third chances. And then we're playing for something bigger than just a game, like tomorrow we need to win. So that's kind of our game plan going into it. Just, uh, what would a signature win? I mean, you've got the goal already, just a, a top 25 win. So what would that do for this program? I think it, I mean, it means a lot for all of us just because we have that signature win over Florida, but to get another one over a Big Ten team that just adds more, and I think that will just help us. And that's what we all know going into tomorrow, that we have to be on our best, like, to play. I mean, is, is it very kind of, you know, when you see the number in front of it, you guys haven't gotten a ranked win this year. Does that just make it a little more exciting when you're going into it when you get that? I think it does, and then being at home, I think that gives us like a little bit more too, because our fans are going to be here, and we're going to have the more energy with our fans. And like up there, we didn't have a lot of people there for us, but I mean, we knew it was a close game up there, so like that's we just got to be able to change little things and play the best we can. Northwestern, it was kind of the same deal. Lost to them, and got mm -hmm. been able to beat them. I mean, does it does it add something? You talked about the top 25, but just to be able to. Get vengeance, I, guess. I mean, we go back, we watch film, we're like, we were right there, we could have won that game. Four points isn't a lot. And then to, just to change those little things, that's what we've been working on the past two days in practice, just to be able to come in and execute our game plan and hopefully come out with a win. How do you play with, I guess, Cahill down at the post and whoever it may be? That familiarity with a player like Thome mm -hmm. help defense wise. How much confidence do you have in, in your other teammates able to help you out? I mean, it. Every day, the past two days in practice when we've been practicing the double team and everything else with them, they've really been there. And I think that they talk to me and they're like, Jen, we got you, we're here. And I think that really just helps like me understand that, okay, if I get do get beat, then they're right there to help me. So that's really important. How much is it that, I guess you've played with that, like the starting lineup, have you just been together for as long as you guys have? Does that add to it? I think so. I think we all know how each other operate and work. I think we all know what kind of passes each other like. And we know that... Lex will lock down on defense and we'll just all try our best. We all know each other's strengths, so I think that helps us too, our chemistry with each other.